Hello everyone, Assalamualaikum. Today we have a new topic, hypothesis. What is hypothesis? This topic is very interesting. So we are directly defined hypothesis means any assumption any assumption about population parameter about population parameters what is population parameter means we are taking any assumption about mu that is population mean and population standard deviation and population variance and proportion about these population parameters, if we are taking any assumption that is called hypothesis. What is statistical hypothesis? Any assumption about the population parameter which may or may not be true is called statistical hypothesis. So that is called statistical hypothesis. Any assumption about population parameter which may or may not be true is called statistical hypothesis. For example, now we are applying the artistic statistical procedure or testing a hypothesis procedure. So that point will be clear. So for example, if we are taking the average height of a students, of BBA students, so as we are testing BBA student as for example it is 82 and sample size is 36 and x sample mean is if sample mean is it is the representative part of the population so if we are taking for example x bar is 80 so how we are making we are satisfied which may or may not be true so we are taking the null hypothesis so applying the statistical procedure and the first uh, statistical procedure we are taking six steps and uh, the first step is null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis and the second one is level of significance level of significance is also denoted by alpha it means that the probability of rejecting of the null hypothesis when it is true and the second is third is third step we are taking test statistics so we are using different test statistics that uh, the chi square and so on similarly according to the data we are applied test statistics and the fourth one is calculation and the fifth is critical region according to depend upon it is two tail test one test test or left hand side or right side tail test we are three different types of alternative hypothesis we are using and this last step is decision rule and conclusion we can say that so this are there are six procedures we are using in the statistical hypothesis let's come we start 
one of the example we are taking one of the example test the population mean the average height of a student is 82 and there are 36 students and their average age is 80 how we test the hypothesis are applying So the first step we are testing a hypothesis required so it's not null hypothesis it is called null hypothesis so f that is is equal to 82 so that is the approximately given the average height of the bba student 30 or bes bs student 30 says there are n is equal to 36 and x bar is equal to 80 how we calculate so alternative hypothesis alternative hypothesis that is called alternate alternative hypothesis so that is not equal to 2 that is equal to two sided test two sided test are two tail test both are same and and the first part and it is the other possibility so h1 h1 means alternative hypothesis mean is greater than 82 that is one sided test one sided one sided test to the right side are one tail test and third part it is possibility is alternate hypothesis b is less than so it is also one tail one sided test from the left side to the left side so the this is the first step we are using and the second step level of significance level of significance means that it is denoted by alpha alpha what is alpha we will discuss detail the probability of rejecting of the null hypothesis is called level of significance it is denoted by alpha it is almost almost 5 percent 5 percent means 0 0.05 the third one we are using this statistic test statistic we are using different types of statistics so here the sample size is greater than 30 it means that since here since n is greater than or equal to 30 so we are using and sigma must be known and sigma what and sigma must be known that is uh, 8 sigma is also 8 so sigma is known so we use z test statistic z test statistic that is So now we are using test statistics. Third is Z test statistics Z C Z Z is equal to X bar minus mu divided by sigma n under root where the 
एन माइनस वन डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम एन एन माइनस वन डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम एफ डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम इज अवेलेबल सो वी आर यूजिंग जेड जेड विद एन माइनस वन डिग्री बट देर इज नो डिग्री हेर इफ वी आर यूजिंग जेड स्टेटिस्टिक्स सो अल्फा इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू विद एन माइनस वन डिग्री एवी चेक नॉ नंबर फोर कैलकुलेशन Calculation Z C as equal to it is denoted by Z calculated value. X bar is given that X bar is equal to 80 minus mu is 82 and a divided by n under root is 36 under root. So if we calculate this, we will we will get the answer 1 minus minus 1.5. That is calculated value. Number five, we are using critical region. Critical region is C dot R. So the first step we have already, according to the alternate hypothesis, H one is greater than Z C greater than R equal to Z alpha by two R Z C. Less than or equal to minus alpha by two, because there are two tail tests, so we are using this procedure. So if we are already given that alpha, so if we two tail test, if we are using, so this is minus z alpha by two, and this is z alpha by two. We are needed this value and. For the second part, that is Z C is greater than R Z alpha for one tail test. One tail test. So the area is Z alpha. So the right side, this area is required. So Z alpha. Similarly, the third part for the right side. so the third part is uh, b part part b z c is greater than z alpha which is one side one sided test so the caro if we are making so it is for the positive z alpha And third part we have already Z C less than or equal to minus Z alpha, which is the caro if we are making that is left side minus Z alpha. So this is the critical region if we are F. Number last step we are drawing here decision, decision or conclusion. Hence. We are checking Z C Z calculated value falls in the acceptance region. Acceptance region. This area is rejection region, and this area is also rejection region, and this area is acceptance regions. Acceptance regions. F Z calculated will you falls in the accepted R R rejection region. So we accept or reject accept or reject according to the according to the. Z values, Z C values. These are the steps we are using actually in the test hypothesis. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate you in advance. Please subscribe my channel.